Bleeding control training is of utmost importance in the pediatric population. In those uh, age 1 to 17, injury is a leading cause of mortality. And so understanding how to control bleeding is of huge importance. A tourniquet is a device that is used on an extremity and it provides a circumferential a pressure around the extremity that stops that blood flow and so blood can't flow through the extremity to the area that is bleeding. Tourniquets can only be used on arms or legs and if there's life-threatening bleeding there, putting the tourniquet on and tightening it will put pressure on that extremity. For all other wounds, you use direct pressure, and that basically means taking your hand and available material. If you have gauze, uh, great. If you don't, a t-shirt, newspaper, a necktie, whatever you have, you push that on the wound and then push as hard as you can on it. And so those are the two basic ways that you can apply pressure for life-threatening bleeding. Unfortunately, accidents happen, and they happen around the home every day. Bleeding to death can occur within a couple of minutes with a severe bleed. This can be before EMS providers arrive. Blood that is spurting from a wound, blood that is pooling on the ground. If the person is starting to get faint or pale appearing, these are signs of life-threatening bleeding and this is when a tourniquet should be applied. Everyone can learn how to use a tourniquet and they can be used to save a life.